Hello, my name's Matt and this is Meg. She's a border collie and they make excellent sheep dogs, herding and directing the sheep where the farmer wants them to go. And sometimes that's when they're off to get their wool cut. It's known as shearing. And in tonight's bedtime story, Sean the shearer has a sheep sheep, not a sheep dog. No, I'm not confused. The story's called Pete the Sheep. Come on, Meg. Ratso the shearer had a sheep dog called Brute. Woof. Big Bob the shearer had a sheep dog called Tiny. Arf, arf. Bungo the shearer had a sheep dog called Fang. Grrr. But the new shearer had a sheep sheep. <laughs> Hi, I'm Sean, he said. And this is Pete. Bah, said Pete politely, which in sheep talk means, hello, delighted to meet you, madam. Please, step this way. You can't have a sheep sheep, cried Big Bob. Why don't you get a proper dog, yelled Ratso. Struth, muttered Bongo, who never said much. Pete's as good as any sheep dog, said Sean. We just do things differently. Bah, bah, said Pete, which in sheep talk means, if you don't mind waiting, sir, Sean will be with you shortly. Sean and Pete were a great team. Sean was a sensational shearer, and the sheep really liked Pete. Bah, bah, asked Pete. Yeah, you're right, said Sean. I do need to take off a little bit more around the ears. Well, we do things properly in this shed, yelled Ratzel. Go bring in some sheep, brute. Hurry up, tiny, called Big Bob. Yep, agreed Bungo, who never said much. But the sheep didn't move. They were waiting for Pete. That sheep sheep is nothing but a troublemaker, yelled Ratso. He has to go, cried Big Bob. Too right, shouted Bungo, who never said much. If Pete goes, then I go, said Sean. Well, that suits us fine, yelled the other shearers. What will I do now? Sean asked sadly. I love shearing. Bah, Pete said, comfortingly. You're right, Pete, said Sean. At least I still have you to shear. First, Sean sheared Pete's front and back legs. Then he sheared Pete's neck and middle. Then he took off Pete's hat and gave him a whole new look. When Pete showed it off to all the other sheep, they were amazed. Bah! Bah! they exclaimed excitedly. Where did you get that cool cut? Bah! Which gave Pete an idea. Their first customer was very happy. So was the second, and so was the third. Soon everyone was talking about Sean's sheep salon. News of their success spread quickly. Before long, Sean and Pete had so many customers, they couldn't look after them all. The other shearers were furious. That's not fair, said Ratso. We're the ones who have the proper sheep dogs. Too right, agreed Big Bob. He looked around. By the way, where are our dogs? Jumping jumbox! Look what I've just found, roared Bungo, which was more than he usually said in a week. The shearers raced into town. The three dogs had crept sheepishly into the salon. Woof! asked Brute, hopefully. Arf! agreed Tiny. Grrr! added Fang, admiring a sheep Sean had just shorn. I'm really sorry, apologised Sean, but our salon is for sheep only. Ma! 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 Pete said firmly. Sean grinned. You're right, Pete, he said. There's no reason why sheepdogs can't look gorgeous too. Sean had just finished curling Tiny's tail when the three shearers rushed through the door. Where's my dog, Brute? yelled Ratso. Where's Tiny? cried Big Bob. Fang! bellowed Bungo. Woof! barked Brute firmly. Arf! Arf! added Tiny. Grrr! growled Fang which in dog talk means, no way I'm leaving till I'm done. What are we going to do? moaned Big Bob. Well, there aren't any sheep left for us to shear, added Ratso, and even our mangy mutts have deserted us. Dog-owned dogs, grumbled Bungo. Bah! Bah! 
said Pete. In the end, it all worked out happily. Ratso could shear sheep styles that were almost as good as Sean's. Big Bob specialised in sheepdog styles, and Bungo learned how to speak to the clients. Oh, madam, you do look lovely. I only wish everyone could look as gorgeous as you do. Bah! Bah! cried Pete, the sheep. He'd had another idea. Well, that story was called Pete the Sheep. And I tell you what, it's given me an idea. What do you think, Meg? A new hairstyle? Couple of spikes, maybe a few curls around there? No? No. I think you're lovely the way you are. Anyway, there's no time to restyle Meg, as it's time for you to go to sleep. We'll see you soon for another story. Night-night. <laughs>